Hello, welcome to Dungeon Drawers Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. So, today I reviewed another... Uh, sorry, I am reviewing another murder mystery uh, movie. The Crimson Rivers is a 2000 uh, thriller mystery movie. It's an hour and 46 minutes long. It's directed by... This is a French movie, by the way. It's directed by Matthew Kazovitz. Hmm. <laughs> Kazovitz, you say. <laughs> uh, story by John Christophe Ronge. We got um, the movie stars John Renault as Pierre Niemens, Vincent Castle as Max Kirk uh, Car- uh, Carrion, Francois Francois Leventhal as pop- as the pathologist. Nadia Ferris, I don't know how to pronounce that, as um, Fanny Ferreira. <laughs> that, that's a huge spoiler they put right here. God damn it, motherfuckers. Not her name persist- specifically, but like, I, I, you have to watch the movie. <laughs> Dominic Sandra as Sister Andre. John Pierre Castle, is that, are they parents? Uh, is he like, let me double check. Is he like the dad of Vincent Castle? They just share a last name. Nope, that was his... Nope, that was his son. So his dad's in the movie, is Dr. Bernard Chernez. So the the movie right away gives gives me uh, Seven and Twin Peaks um, feels to it. The story for this movie is that in this um, French, like, mountain village, it's like surrounded by snowy mountains there's um there's this uh college uh university sorry this really big university that that's um that the elites like the elites go in uh, french and they have like this closed system where they they can if there's ever an avalanche, uh, avalanche they can survive for like a month they have their own school power plant etc etc they even provide free health care to the people of the neighboring village of uh, Sarzak right so the story is there there's a dead body found in a cradle position hanging off hanging off from one of the mountains and uh, the local police are investigating but they can't handle it so they 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 get this uh, special de- detective from Paris to show up and that's Pierre uh, Niemens, who's played by John Renault. He go, um, he goes to investigate the school, um, talks to the girl who found the dead body, who is a student of the school named uh, Fanny Ferreira. No relation to me. This is a character. <laughs> um, played by Nadia F- F- uh, Ferris, who. Um, is uh i forget i forget her fucking um she's some kind of she's a scientist that specializes in glacier glaciers and avalanches and shit like that right at the same time you have vincent castle's a lieutenant cop in sarzak who's investigating uh misdemeanor where some somebody uh vandalized some girl's um tomb in, at a cemetery and and drew uh, swastikas on her tomb while he uh, at the same time though there was a break-in at the school so he realizes that the break-in and the vandalism it is related and while both uh, cop characters are investigating they realize hey they um, meet each other where like they both pull guns on each other <laughs> which is a very cool scene um, where they realize, hey, they're investigating the same thing, right? So, um, the movie, cinematography-wise, it's great. Um, the char- I thought the characters were cool. Um, I do have some problems with the movie, because they, they investigate this one guy uh, apartment, and they find that he's exper- experimenting on, like, dogs. And, like, he- there's a bunch of dogs that are... Uh, caged up in, in, in this guy's place and they just leave without calling anybody hey there's 
the uh, dogs here. So you, they just leave dogs in captivity when the the owner is dead. <laughs> so that's as a dog owner, that kind of pissed me off. Hey, you, you're just gonna leave those dogs to starve to death? And Pierre uh, Newman's uh, John Renault's character, Pierre Newman, is scared shitless of dogs. He goes to uh, talk to Dr. Bernard uh, Sharonese, who's an eye doctor, um, because of the victims the victims are found without with their eyes and hands mi missing and, and bound in like a fetal position, right? So he's an eye doctor, so he goes to meet him, and on his way there, he he uh, meets with this uh, kid who's blind and has like a a dog with him, a pretty big dog. I can't, I think it was like a Rottweiler or something. And this freaks. That's where we discover that uh, John Renault's character is scared of dogs, which freaks him the fuck out. Scares the living shit out of the kid as well, because like the kid knows somebody's in front of him, but but like you know he's blind, right? And his <laughs> and his dog can't let him know. And like Pierre, uh, John Renault is like too scared shitless to say anything because of the dog, which you know the, uh, the doctor shows up, right? And uh, you f you find out, hey, there's. There's some inbreeding going on at this school because, um, because uh, professors, uh, professors like marry other professors, and their schools get their um, their kids go to the same school and meet and like you know bang other students. So like obviously there's the they at first they imply that there's inbreeding, but then they say it's. They, you realize later, hey, there's inbreeding, which I could tell right away. Which, uh, isn't inbreeding illegal in some countries? I know in my country, uh, it is, which doesn't stop. I know, I know it doesn't stop people from banging their cousins, but, like, come on. Like, <laughs> yeah. So, I, I don't know. Um, th there's also a scene that I thought was really dumb, because this movie takes its, it's a very, it takes itself very seriously, right? But there's like this dumb scene where like uh, Vincent Castle um, meets up with the local skinheads because there's like you know there's skinheads in every fucking town I guess, and um, because of the swastikas right, and like when he goes to meet these uh, kids like the, um, s some of them are playing virtual fighter which is of course French the French people. They have, like, shit taste in fighting games. Like, who the fuck... If people don't know what Virtual Fighter is, it's basically... It, by the way, it's spelled Virtual without the L at the end. So... <laughs> and it's, like, Sega's, like, shitty copy of, like, Street Fighter. <laughs> Which, like, why... One, like, why w would you play vir a Virtual Fighter over Street Fighter? But, like, when, like, you have, like... Tekken as well, which is Tekken is the superior, is the best Street Fighter clone. Everybody knows that, but like a Virtual Fighter um, was the first 3D fighting game, I guess. So like it gets some props, fuck you know. Like you can even play it on the Sega Genesis if you get the like the um, the I think the 32X attachment. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. And there's like this shitty fight scene between Vincent Castle and two of the skinheads, which, which like seriously was retarded to have in a movie like this. Like, come on. And I just like, um, he, he's giving the um, the skinheads a, a hard time. He's like, what's your, what's your problem, man? And he's like, I hate fascists. You hate fa fascists coming from a cop. <laughs> it's kind of fucking dumb, in my opinion. Which I'm not, I don't have anything against cops, but like I think they they're like they're necessary, but it's like come on, like if you if you disobey in some countries, even in the U.S., if you disobey an order from a police officer, they can arrest you for that, and not a lot of people know that. So you have a lot of people who get in situations with the police where they don't know that hey you have to. You, if like a cop tells you, hey, get out of here or whatever, and you don't do it, or you just like if a cop wants to talk to you and you're like, man, I don't want to talk to you, he can arrest, 
he can like arrest you for that. They don't have to do that, but a lot of people, you know, the the co- I don't know, dude. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just like I don't know. Cops make me nervous. Maybe it's because you know I've had like not I've never been in trouble with the police, but like I've been around people who've had trouble with the police, especially in my dad. <laughs> So from a young age, I've had, I've had a fear of the police, uh, and I'm supposed to be a, like a conservative kind of guy. But I, I don't know, dude. I think I don't know. If it, if it wasn't for cities, we could. Uh, I think the sheriff deputy system is the superior system, but because of cities and high populations, that does you know we can't do we can't go back to the sheriff deputy system, which is on, honestly, in my opinion, superior because. You people have to people vote for their sheriff, and then like you deputies are people are members of the community, so like you have people with a uh, with inherent interest into into protecting their communities, right? I don't know, dude. I it, whatever, whatever. So I don't know. That was I just thought that was a stupid scene, like the the that that fight scene, which the court it was. I'll, I'll give them credit. The fat, the fight scene was shot well. It's just like martial art wise, it was pretty dumb. You had a lot of like spinning, spinning high kicks, which is, if you know anything about martial arts, high kicks. I'm not saying you you can never use high kicks in a in a fight, but you don't open up with side kicks and then you don't continue with side with sorry high high side kicks, right? So like the reason why you don't do high kicks, right? Because the guy can grab your leg, right? Because I was in a fight one time where I did a high kick and, and the the guy uh, grabbed my leg and then like the the fight ended <laughs> ended uh, pretty fast after that. So like yeah, you never want to uh, have like lead with high kicks. You want I'm a, you, like you have to like combo some move first and then like use a high kick right when like the guy's not page like if you do a feint and then you do a high kick yeah that would that could work but you don't do you don't lead with high kicks and and then like repeat it it's fucking dumb but yeah that, that fight the fight choreography for that scene was uh pretty stupid in my opinion and uh i don't know the, the other than that the music was great i like the characters uh, I, I overall I thought it was a good movie though I I think the movie was kind of is kind of overrated because like I was told hey this is a amazing fucking movie and I kind of saw the plot twist coming like a right a uh, you know mile away especially in the fucking mo uh, movie uh, trailer sorry for the trailer for this movie um, they kind of spoil who the killer is <laughs> and like. Yeah, so, I don't know. I would say it's still a cool movie to watch. But, like, yeah, I wouldn't say... It's not, like, something you need to buy. I've, I would say it's something... It's, like... I, I, I would say it's a good rental, right? So, I'm giving the movie, like, a 6.5 out of 10. You know, maybe... If you're a fan of Vincent Castle and John Reno, um, It's... You know... I would say it's worth watching. Alright, guys. Peace.